Hello Fight fans, I'm here with Boxing Beats and Rhymes, I'm here with Ian Knockemout Lewison. How you doing Ian? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Alright, great, 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 that's great to hear. We know about your big fight with uh, Eddie Chambers coming up. How's training going and how's things going with that? Yeah, everything's going good, it's going how it's expected to go on the brink of a big fight and we're exactly where we'd like to be and everything's going good. All right. So, um, you got any strategies or anything you could you could share with us? Or you know, you're not really going to tell us your game plan, I don't think. But what's your, what are you looking to do with the, in the fight? Are you looking to try and take the distance, knock him out? What, what are you looking to do with him? My well, my strategy and my game plan is all much the same thing. It's all the same thing. Hit him more than he hits me. Okay. Cool. 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 All right, boxing beats. Uh, question. Go ahead. Yeah, Ian. Do you consider this? How you doing anyway? You know what I mean, it's good to see a rising British contender. Do you consider this a big step up or is it just something you're ready for? No, do you know what? It is a big step up because if you look at it on paper, who he's fought and the level he's fought at, it's most definitely a step up then because he's been in with Klitschko, provoking all them world-class fighters, so it's definitely a step in the right direction for me. Okay. Um, like, you've been a pro for about, let's say, nine years. You haven't had that many fights. Is there a reason behind that? Do you know what? I'm just beginning to think I'm just riddled with bad luck. Because all throughout, everything just never really happened for me. Whether it be whatever reason the reasons are. It's just like, it always seems to get where you need to go. But for some strange reason, you're never quite there. It just doesn't tend to happen. Okay. What sort of obstacles have you had? Or just um, briefly, don't you don't have to go through your personal stuff, you mean. But what kind of obstacles are we talking there's been a lot of injuries and then there's been a lot of mismanagement. It's just a lot of things like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we know you train. Are you tra- you're training with Don Ch- Don Charles? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah, in in Mill Hill, man. I'm looking to come down there at some point this week. Um, how's training going? With how's uh, going? Is a new your new trainer? How's it? How are you training with Don Charles? How's that going? Yeah, it's going good. It's, it's um, I'd say it's a partnership that's working because you can see. From us joining forces and working together, you can see like the difference in my fights that have been as opposed to when I haven't been working with him. So definitely, it's definitely working for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do spar? Uh, getting ready for the fight, Derek? Help you getting ready for this fight? Yeah, Should me be- and Derek sparred a few times. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, go on, then, bitch. Yeah, because in a way, it's your camp against um, Eddie Chambers and Tyson Fury's camp because you know Derek's fighting Tyson Fury. So I suppose you got a little yeah. bit of a rivalry there. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been heard it spun so many different ways. One one person says to me it's England v America, and it's the saying it's like you're saying it's it's my it's the Charles Camp against Fury Camp. Many different ways, whatever way you want to spin it, it's still the same thing. Two fighters from each camp are fighting. Mm. Okay. Mm. So how do you get the nickname lay them out? I like it. <laughs> I'm uh, just through knocking loads of people out as an amateur because I just as an amateur I used to lay them out. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, but this is a this is like a, your biggest test so far, man. I mean, um, obviously you're laying him up. Like Eddie's never fought at well, he, he's fought at heavyweight and he's fought the clips going this and that. This would be a really big notch in your thing and, and a debut into into the big time we feel, man. You're gonna, you, you know, what I mean, you're gonna grab it of all arms because I feel like in the prize fight you got robbed in that last in that prize fight, you know. The one where all the oh, re- hey. yeah, go on. Yeah, that is the case, and that's that's what I've been hearing all throughout a bit since then. But again, everyone seems to think so, apart, apart from the judges who were there for inside. So what can I say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, beats. Okay. You seem to be sort of taking the defeat quite nonchalant. Was you kind of infuriated that they took the verdict that you won? Because you know what, at the end of the day, the way I see it, didn't they? I'm ups- I was upset about it for a good few weeks or however months or whatever. But the fact of the matter is it makes no sense to me stressing myself by like, it now all this can do is give grey hairs. Yeah. The Not, fact yeah. of the matter is the, the days come and gone. It is what it is. Whether I make a song and dance about it now ain't gonna change the actual verdict or the decision on what it was awarded on the day, so it makes no difference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once well it goes to the judges. On. Yep. Mm. Once you go to the judges that's that. So how ambitious is Ian Lewinson? We need to know that. Are, are, are you looking to go to the very top or just are you content with British or European level? You know, we just need to know. Well, boy, at the end of the day, my ambitions are sky high because the fact of the matter is 
somebody's at the top of the mountain. And at the end of the day, that somebody who was at the top of the, the top of the mountain was once a contender. So if that person can get there, why can't I? So I feel at the end of the day, I have the same opportunity that was before the person who was there now. Literally before me, I, I have the same opportunity they had. So if they can get there, why can't I? Mm, mm, mm. Definitely, definitely. The Dallas fight was a great win. I saw that fight on um, Steve Goodwin, uh, Steve Goodwin card. Um, you know, you just blew him out. Like, you know, it was, it was. You know, he just, you look like it. You didn't even struggle in that fight. You look like you didn't even get out of second gear or anything. You know I mean, it was a good win. Yeah, but mm. before the fight, I was telling everyone I was gonna knock him out in two. I even told him at a press conference before. <laughs> you know, <laughs> was what um you saying that in this Eddie Chambers fight? What do you see then? I believe I will knock him out, but I believe this one will go a few rounds first. Wow. Because if he's a good mover and he's slick, I reckon it'll go at least four to five rounds, then I will catch up with him and knock him out. <laughs> All right, fight fans, you hear you heard that first. <laughs> okay. So you're born and bred in Brixton, yeah? Yep, born and raised. Okay. <laughs> okay, so potential Brixton world champion, heavyweight champion on the way, Ian Lewinson. Yeah, that's know? it, that's it, that's the strategy. Yeah, okay. um, do you and Dillian White know each other? Because I think he's from the round. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you spar a couple of. When do you know when he's back in the ring or anything around him? Or is there a chance that you and him could clash at some point? Or you know, even though you're friends and that. Yeah, funny enough, I'm speaking to him yesterday, and he's got six months left before he's come back. So long. He's been off for too long, man. You know what I mean? But yeah. you know, it, it, it is what it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he gonna? Yeah. How, how how are you being promoted by Goodwin? Goodwin, Goodwin, looking after you, yeah. I'm not promoted by him, no. You're not promoted by him? He's your, man no. He's your manager. He was my it. manager. Okay. He was my manager, but me and him parted now. I've actually gone my separate way from him now, yeah. Man, you need to tell Boxrec that, man. That's oh, yeah, yeah, Boxrec. He's your manager. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're getting our information. Yeah. Oh, um, could you let us, could you give us the information and why and, and who's your manager and who's your new manager? That's good, I haven't got a new manager, but it's no longer Steve. I'm not working with Steve no more. Okay. You well, he you said haven't... something quite interesting, Goodwin. I want to go back into the garden with your relationship. He says that black fighters do not sell tickets. What's your following like? Um. All right, do you know what? I'll put it this way, yeah? If I had a fight coming up yeah, and I had to sell tickets, I'd rather go promote it in a pub than the Domino Club. Okay. I'll get more <laughs> tickets <of> that way. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's hitting that the black community is not coming out to support, and that's sad. And that's sad. That's something we need to fix in boxing. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, got, boy, Ian. So, Ian, you know, I mean, if you, let me ask you a question, like, because it seems like mm -hmm. you, you're just like, I mean, this is your, you know, your, your, your fight's gonna be coming up. If you beat, I mean, sorry, when you beat Eddie Chambers, all right, are you gonna be? Any different, like your mode, your mode always on this level. It's just like you know, what I mean, you feel like you're not getting your dust due. That's the that's the impression I get. You're not getting your dust due. You feel like you know, what I mean, what, what, what's your take on no, that? The fact of the matter is, you know what, I feel, and you know, in life, I don't know if you understand this or you know what I'm saying, yeah. In life, certain things are said to you as you're growing up, but you never really and truly understand them until you're actually going through them. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm in exactly the same place I feel now that, say, Marvin Hagler was, because when he was growing up, when he was coming up in the uh, middleweight division, yeah? Mm. They had all the other superstars in the divisions, the Hearns, the Leonard's, everyone else was getting the getting the, um, the light shined upon them. He was just there in the background, even though he was still notching up the wind. Everything had come five times harder for him than it did for everyone else. But the fact of the matter was, he ground it out. He carried on, he carried on. And then, do you know what? His reign went on to be much longer and much fiercer than anyone else's. Yeah. And that's how I feel at the end of the day, because I feel like I'm, it's just this, I'm not just fighting the opponent in the ring. It's like I'm fighting the whole system. I'm fighting the whole boxing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm good at reading people. You seem like... Um... You're not the type of guy you're going to start shouting at opponents. You just seem like, okay, when it's time, I'm just going to put hands on your opponent. That's, you know, that's what I'm reading, because you're very measured. You know? Yeah, but I think, you know, it's me shouting. 
from the rooftops, nobody will listen. It makes more sense. You get in a position where people will listen, then you start telling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me ask a question. <laughs> um, so you met up with, um, what's his name again? You met up with Philadelphia. What's his name again? The fight after fight from Philadelphia. Who's the one to beat Bruno Deets? What's his name again? Tim Witherspoon. Yeah, okay. you met up with Tim Witherspoon. Did they yeah, you give, did he give you any advice? And also, you met with you saw Larry Holmes and James Tony. Did they give you any 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 words of advice of anything on your career? Um, do you know the one person who gave me advice that I can honestly believe that I can remember to this day? Yeah, mm -hmm. was Lennox Lewis. Okay. Yeah, because he he basically goes. This is a hard game. At the end of the day, even when you're at the top, the hard shit doesn't be, doesn't stop. It stays hard. It is, and it's only when you're in it. People read in papers, oh, this person's earning five million a fight, earning this, earning that. But the fact of the matter is, they're thinking, oh, that's some ridiculous money to pay for one fight. A footballer's getting a hundred grand a week. That's some ridiculous amount of money. But you don't understand. They sacrificed their childhood to put themselves in that position. Suppose them now, they've done everything exactly the same, sacrificed their childhood. They went out, played a game, broke their leg, their career was finished. For the sake of sacrificing their childhood now, they're being compensated for that. So even if they did get a career for an injury, potentially they could retire on what they had made. Same with like the boxers. You don't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to box. Next thing you know, you're in a big five, six million pound fight. You start in the amateurs, you have so many unpaid amateur fights. However long your amateur career is, maybe your pro career is five, six years. For them, for the first three years, you don't make no serious money in the professionals anyway. Yeah. After that, now, you start making money. So it's not just an a, a idea people have, I'm just going to wake up today and be a boxer and make five million in a fight. It doesn't come like that. It comes through the work you put in beforehand. Yeah. Well, it is a hard sport. So what drives you on? What drives you on and makes you want to be a boxer? I just, I just, do you know what? Yeah, I'll tell you honestly the truth. What drives me is, what, what makes me want to box is the fact that it's one of the honest few ways you can legally beat people up. <laughs> I like that. That's a Mike Tyson-esque answer. I like that. I like that. You know? So you actually enjoy your job. You know what I mean? You actually enjoy your job. <laughs> I, I do take pride in it. I actually like it. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's just actually fun when you're actually hitting people and you're hearing them cringe and you're hearing them <coughs> and you're hitting them. It actually, it, it, well, I would say it's like it's like sex. It is very pleasurable. <laughs> wow. That's a real <laughs> answer from a real boxer. That's a real boxing art. It's not politically correct, but it's the realness. This is the hurt game. You know. Yeah. Um, so would, would you? Would you say um, Hagler was the guy, kind of guy that you you would uh, you see yourself as? What, I mean, not see yourself. Obviously, you're Ian Lewis, but what kind of fighters do you do you look up to? I mean, you mentioned Hagler. Anyone else? Or that's your that's your that's your guy? Because boxing beats the Rams is a big fan of Hagler. Who, who do you who do you inspiration by? Me personally, I do like Hagler. I think he was the most complete fighter and boxer ever because he could box, he could fight, he could do whatever. He was so versatile. He could um, adapt in a fight. I agree. That he was was brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what's your would you would you say was your your best punch? Would you say you're just you haven't got no difficult punch, a body punch or a headshot? What's your favorite punch that you land that you know you know you could really do some serious damage? Um, whichever one gets through. <laughs> Does. <laughs> it real hurt. Wait, and it's it... like you know what? If you go back and look through my record, yeah. Yeah. It's in the professional, all the knockouts I've had, yeah. they've all been with different punches. So I can't really say I'm a straight right person and knock them out with straight rights because it's been different punches that have put people down and, and knock people out. So therefore, it's not like to say I'm just a big one puncher in the sense of a right hand. Mm. Where Dallas now, 99% of these knockouts came with a straight right. Yeah. Other people you just say, yeah, stay away from their left hook, stay away from their up cut or whatever. You can strategize around that because they're big. They have one big punch. But the truth would be told, I'll knock you out with either hand. Excellent. So, um, <laughs> Good. okay, um, here's, here's one of the real questions. and It's going to give you a chance to answer back. 
One of the critiques I've heard of Ian Lewinson is that he doesn't apply himself to the game. How mm -hmm. do you answer to that? Um, you know what? In life, no matter what you do, sometimes you can never please everyone. No matter what you do, and the fact of the matter is, I ain't going to lie and say, yeah, I'm one that lived for the training. I'll be truthful, yeah. I would say the training isn't the most fun aspect of boxing for me. It isn't, and I wouldn't be one to lie and say to you, yeah, I enjoy the training. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, when I get to the gym, I do what has to be done. But the fact of the matter is, I just don't enjoy the journey there. Okay. What would you prefer to be doing, if that's the case? Um, what would I prefer to be doing? Yeah, if you're saying you don't I'd like the training. I prefer to be at home on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> what game do you like playing Fight Night? Sorry? What game do you like playing Fight Night? Oh. Yeah, fight nights and that, but you know, I've tried, um, I've got this Call of Duty now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I know that one, yeah. I, do you know what? I can't even call that. On the, on the first stage, I've had it for about a year now, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm on this stage where you start and you got to crawl out the bunker, I keep getting sniped, I can't get past it. <laughs> what, what level was that? You put it on the easy level? On the first, on stage one. Oh man, long day. I know about that. Yeah. You can't see where they can't see where the sniper is. It pissing you off, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to call out this bunk and everything's all good. Then the minute you you you, you stick your head out, of it, boom, you're sniping. I'm like Jesus. <laughs> you try to run. As soon as you get out, they try to leg it. You just sniper you. Well, I've tried everything, man. I've tried everything. I just can't get past that stage. Well. All right. P well, people listening to you, maybe they can help you yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't been up Brixton for a minute, man. I hear it's all gentrified and posh now. Is that true? I ain't been up there for a couple of years. But it's definitely changed in the sense of like the people that are living there and the people that are coming there. Definitely, it has. It has. Which at the end of the day, to anyone that held onto their property there, they obviously benefited from that yeah definitely yeah yeah so how many days you train you train do you train today no i never trained today, today off actually but i'm gonna train tomorrow yeah oh so is, is you don't gonna be there tomorrow um no i'm not over there tomorrow no i'm at track tomorrow oh you're at track tomorrow okay wow yeah so M monday you and don are gonna be together on monday yeah 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 That's... we will be yeah okay yeah 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 what would you know roughly what time or is that early from early yeah um, yeah, about 12, 1 o'clock we'll be there, yeah. Okay, 12, 1 o'clock, see if I can come down and, and see, see if I can get, come down and get some fight footage of you, you working out <laughs> and stuff like that, that'd be good. Yeah, um, that's no problem, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I was talk to you and Don and stuff like that. Yeah, go, go ahead, Beats. All right, well, I'm maxed out. Is there anything that you want to let the public know? Because I don't really hear you do too much interviews, so is there anything yeah, the public yeah, needs to know? Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, yeah, just follow, just follow my journey and watch it, and then watch it unravel along the way, and you'll be in store for an exciting ride. Because at the end of the day, when you look at it now, yeah, no matter what weight British fighters, which genuine, right, let me ask you this question, yeah, yeah, which genuinely um, British fighter, yeah, born and raised there around now, yeah, that creates excitement that when you watch it, you're anticipating it, thinking, sitting on the edge of your thinking right any second now there's going to be a knockout any second now there's going to be a knockout which British fighter do you actually look forward to watching right now um you answer first I got one after well, go on. I suppose the Groves and Frotch fight has got the public looking for an exciting barnstormer of potential knockout but you're right there isn't many but there may there aren't many Nigel Benz about these days no nah. right, let me ask you a question before the Groves one yeah, yeah. before the Groves and Frotch fight before the outcome of their first fight was you looking at them two sitting there like that, the same thing I just asked you? Not really. Not really. There you go. So, which genuine British fighter then is there that you honestly sit down and look and think to yourself, yeah, I can't wait to see him fight. He's potentially going to knock this guy out. And then every round if the fight's on, you're sitting there thinking, yeah, knockout's coming, knockout's coming. Who generates that kind of emotion in the fans? There's no one, man. Okay. So that's the void you're going to fill? And that is it, because at the end of the day, all they got to do is come watch one of my fights, one of them they've seen already, and they've seen the kind of fights that I'm, that I'm involved in at the end of the day. If it's sure sitting on the edge of your seat excitement, that's me, and that's, that's what I do. Yeah, the Tom Dallas thing was kind of vicious still, so <laughs> I see where you're coming from on that. I see where you're coming from on that. I mean, boy, Eddie, being Eddie Chambers in, in, in that spectacular fashion, that no, no one's ever 
Well, he's been flattened by Klitschko. That, 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 you know, that, that's that's propelling you somewhere. You know what I mean? That's taking uh-huh. you where you where you yeah, need to go. Yeah, that's the right it's, direction. It's the right. It'll send the message to the Fury Cat and the rest of the world that who's this guy? You know, and blah blah blah. So this is this is this is your time to shine, and and obviously you're gonna grab it with both hands, man. Boy, you go you come across like an old school fighter, man. No business. Remind me of um Mike McCallum. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. You know what I mean? This biz, all business. And this, and let your let your boxing talk, man. It's been a pleasure. Well, that's it, yeah. yeah, I don't go try and sell it to you with my mouth at the end. Of the day. I just go tell you I'm fighting as and where and when. And you know what? You sit down and watch it, and you'll see. Because I'm not one to try and to try and sell you water and tell you it's wine. But yeah. the fact of the matter is, when you taste it, you know it's wine. Oh gosh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh lad. So real talk from Ian Lewison, up and coming, yeah. British contender. Yeah, you know? definitely. And we're yeah. we're looking forward to seeing you do very well, you know, and we're hopefully winning, getting the W, and we'll take it from there. Yeah, Ian. Well, in fact, we pre- appreciate you giving us this time in, and then we'll, we'll, we'll catch up probably on a later date near your fight. And well, I'll probably hopefully see... on a post fight. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably catch you. Like I said, I'll probably come down to your gym and, and get some fight footage. But we appreciate you giving your time. What you got to do for the rest of the day? You're gonna relax and watch. What's the fight? You watching the fights tonight? Which fight is on tonight? Uh, there's quite a few, man. Channel there's quite five, a few. Kid there's... Galahad and them guys. Yeah, Vivian Harris is fighting later on, and I think um, I think that's it, actually. No, there's someone. Oh fight. yeah, um, and that um, what's his name? The uh, the the one who knocked out Price. Yeah. Any fighting tonight as well, actually. Oh, Thompson. Yeah, Thompson and Solis. Yeah, Tony Thompson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony Thompson versus um, Orlando Solis. That's fight. That's fighting yeah, as well. Yeah, I'll yeah. watch that. Yeah. yeah, them fights. Yeah, that'd be interesting to watch. All right, and man. Yo, appreciate your time, oh. Ian, 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 Liam, out, Lewison, and uh, we'll catch up soon, yeah? All right, thank you. No problem. All no right, problem, Frank. Right. See you, Take mate. Care. Take care. Bye. Right.